Okay, I apologize for the quality of this video. My regular camcorder is not working. This is a video response. Um, one of my YouTube subscribers was asking how the tree is doing. Uh, it is now roughly six months since we did the root invigoration procedure on this tree. It suffered severe damage due to uh, uh, root loss uh, due to reconstruction. It was severely defoliated. Um, I can't get in the backyard. Uh, they're not home. Um, we can get a decent look at the tree. It has all 2012 foliage on it. It's lost all of last year's foliage. It still has a ton of dead, small, small dead branches in it. It, um, it, it it's got a lot of good foliage on it, though. I'm super pleased that it's still that it's putting back out. Um, this is. This is, this is a good example of what I'm always preaching about keeping as many leaves on the tree for as long of the growing season as possible. It is still April, okay? Uh, this foliage hasn't fully hardened off yet. Now is a super important, it was a little bit too late to treat for leaf disease, although I would include a fungicide if I was spraying this tree. I would treat for mites, I would treat for chewing insects, I would treat for sucking insects, and I would treat for leaf diseases. All of those things that cause premature leaf drop sometime around midsummer to late summer to early fall. So this is a crucial period to say, look, the tree is coming out like crazy now, but it's super important to take what measures we can to ensure that as many of these leaves stay on the tree for as long as possible. Because trees don't bounce back from decline, they recover real super slowly. And how we do that is by helping promote a healthy leaf population. So part of that is by continuing the root rot treatments. It's also by regulating the moisture, uh, the site, uh, making sure that it doesn't get too moist, making the soil anaerobic. It's also by making sure the darn thing gets fertilized. All of these things are essential components. So uh, that's what I think is super crucial about a tree like this. Yes, it's put on some new foliage. We're nowhere near out of the woods with this tree. And I would further espouse uh, avoiding um, uh, pruning unless we absolutely had to get some of the bigger stuff out for safety. I really just, uh, even, this, even, even though we're sure we're only going to go in there and only get dead stuff, I just want to see if we can avoid that for another year. Well, there you go.